What is good on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to season three. I'm late. So before this video starts, I just want to go over, I have recorded this video three times. Every single time the audio is corrupted. This time I pre-recorded it a little bit and it works. So hopefully we can get this video done so I can get it to you guys here. You guys, obviously, if you're seeing this intro. Anyway, today we're gonna be playing season three, playing some mayhem, using the new weapons here in Call of Duty Vanguard. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. This map is so cool. Like, this map, like whoever came up with this map, I love you because ironically, my favorite map out of, and one of my favorite maps in Call of Duty history was Studio from Black Ops 2, which was a movie set. And this is a movie set, which I also think is really cool too. I also love Micro, which was in Black Ops 3. And it was the map that was like the picnic table map. I love that map too. Also, something new with Vanguard is on this side of the screen, on the top, very top left, um, it'll pop, zoomed in, obviously, um, they added that as a thingy. I don't remember that ever being there. It's like how, like, you can see it on PC and stuff, but that's now here, so I think that's really cool. I wish I would know how many frames I'm getting, but, you know, that's okay. Be cool if they had a frame thingy though, that'd be really cool, but it's not a PC so I can see why it's not. But still would be a pretty cool addition if we could see the frame rate. Got him. Drop down. Hold this angle instead. So this map, Mayhem, is designed for the whole Godzilla event. And let me tell you, I'm beyond ready for this event in Warzone. And the skins, I'm actually gonna buy the skins that are released even though i don't play warzone i'll play warzone for the event and whatnot but i'm just excited for these skins mainly now granted that is weird of me to say because you know i don't buy skins in this game i buy the battle pass that's about it so gonna peek this. pop this up i did not mean to pop this but that's fine i was hoping for the, just the uav is what i wanted but okay it's okay though This map is a ton of fun though, and I'm excited for the whole Godzilla event. Um, I'm gonna cover that whole event probably coming into it. Um, mostly because Vanguard really is not doing well. Um, obviously every season launch, like this season is better than the previous seasons we've received. But that's not saying much at all. Like saying that this season is better than not most isn't really saying much. Because most of the season content is literally shop items half of the time. Which to me is an absolute disgrace. So this new Nikita rifle, it's a bullpup. I don't know what country of origin it's from, but I do know is it's really fucking cool and really good in this game and it makes me happy, but at the same time, it does not too good, if that makes sense. Like you can still use the other weapons and do really well. The Automaton and the SDG are still obviously probably the best in the game. But dude, I'm like, as I was going on with Vanguard though, Vanguard itself, while Vanguard itself is a good game, it's a good Call of Duty game, they're failing at post-launch anything. Um, and here's what I mean. I love free DLC. I don't want to go back to a paid model. Um, but I do understand the whole argument of they were forced to have to sell you something, so they had to make they had to make good maps, more enticing maps, even though some DLCs are really shit. Cough, cough, World War II, cough, cough. They had to make you sit by it. Here, obviously, they can release what they want when they do, and so on and so forth. But... The maps here for post-launch, we've only had one remake, one remaster or remake in the form of Dome or Radar from the entire DLC season. Now, granted, we also had Castle and Dome from World of War here inside of... You bitch. Why go for me? But we had um, that within release with those remakes, but that's it. We haven't... Everything other map has been a brand new creation. Which, I do like that, that we are getting new maps instead of, you know, just remaster after remaster, but that also begs the question, does that constitute us not having good post-launch support? Like, the game itself is lacking, like, we don't have gunfight, I don't think we've had a new Champion Hill map since launch. Now granted, I don't play Champions Hill, so I could care less about that, but it's still content being added to the game, like we had with Modern Warfare's gunfight and Cold War's gunfight, even the face-off playlist. 
There were maps there. We're getting a one map at the release of a season, which to me is definitely not enough at the launch of the season for me to keep playing. As much as I do like this map, I have played the map easily 30 plus times now, and I'm over it. I've played it a lot, so I can only play one map so many times in a row before I just get bored. And that's not good with new maps. I mean, this map is good, so that's there is that fact. The time. But the damn reload. It's triple. Okay. Shotgun spam in Vanguard is still just as dumb as it ever has been. Like, dude, your soul! Like, look at this! It's. He doesn't even have to aim! Emotional damage! Dude, can I just say, you know, I feel like I say this every video. Why is there no weapon inspector? Also, this one won't this, this is kind of cool emote. This is kind of cool emote, though. It's kind of cool, though, not gonna lie. I'm going to use this M1916. I have not used this gun in a hot minute now. It's a semi-auto gun. You can put a full auto barrel on, which is kind of nice, though. But regards to Season 2 or Season 3 here of Vanguard, I think a big issue that I think a lot of people have with seasons in general, and something I definitely do, is it's lack of just interesting additions to the game, if that makes any sense. So the last two years with Cold War, we got a new kill streak every single season. With this game, we got a new kill streak in the form of the ball turret gunner back with season one. I think it was season one, it may have been two, I don't remember. It was one of the other seasons. And then this season we got the trophy system, which is a good addition to the game, but I don't run it because I have no reason to. I just throw ammo boxes down. I died to a grenade, I died to a grenade, I could care less. Um Okay, bro, bro, can I can I do damage? I don't get it. But Vanguard itself just seems to be lacking in several area in several key areas in the form of replayability. Um especially with the seasons. Like once I hit level 200 and I max out the battle pass, what is there for me to do really to play for? Um you could say well there's challenges for you to do. Well these challenge a lot of the challenges within the seasons that we've had since Modern Warfare are dumb. They're not fun to do. I get it's a challenge, but it also shouldn't just be a monotonous, monotonous, tedious, stupid challenge that I do that's boring. And that's something I find a lot of people say, well, there's challenges to do. Okay, there's challenges to do in 2042. That doesn't mean it has content. And that's just something I wish I don't think people, I don't think a lot of people are getting at right now, especially for me. Oh my god. Nice double kill. Although Modern Warfare 2 is just revealed, and I actually plan on having another video here on I'm gonna I'm going back to Modern I have a video on Modern Warfare 2019 that I'm making. And I actually plan on making that more of a discussion-based kind of video of me not really, you know, focusing on the game, but just kind of talking about Modern Warfare 2. Okay, maybe this gun is actually really good. I will say the gunsmith in this game, I'm hoping like for Modern Warfare 2, because it kinda, kinda involves this game more than Modern Warfare 2019. I really hope to see the gunsmith levels. You can have, I think 70 levels is fine for a weapon, but when it comes to camos, it needs to finish at like level 40 or 50. And have the rest of the challenges be based around the weapon itself and not the attachment level. Um, and maybe make like the rest of the attachments like Modern Warfare 2019 you look at the weapon level things like 60 or 50 for the max but a lot of the weapon attachments were just reskinned assets like you had four different hollow sites I love that like six different red dots I love that so make it where maybe you maybe the weapon challenges are headshots again like the old ways but you still have gunsmith challenges like what we do or do what COD Mobile does I like those challenges too and I always I think that was really neat and I would love to see that be a way of doing it. 
outside of just the current way that we have for how is he not dead like listen i know i suck at the game i know i'm not that good okay i get that i you've established that much but how many bullets do i gotta put into a guy for him to die I need so much more sense now. I love how I run and jump in front of a building and I just die. If I die to one more piece of bullshit, like a random enemy's bullet or a random ass grenade, or to a guy that I feel like five rounds into and definitely have killed. If I die to some bullcrap, I'm, I'm, the video ends. I should not have killed him. Closing with I'm done.